Shalom, everybody. Good morning. Have a good morning, and be blessed this morning again. Glad to see all of you. Let's open our Bible from the book of Habakkuk, chapter two, verse fourteen. Habakkuk chapter two, verse fourteen, and then Isaiah forty, verse number five. Let's open our Bible from the book of Habakkuk, chapter two, verse fourteen. If you are ready, let's read together. Hallelujah. This is a wonderful morning. We are so blessed to be here in San Francisco again. And after the Thanksgiving, everybody got their holiday, meet their families and parents. And I believe not only shopping, but the more important things is our heart can give thanks to the Lord Jesus Christ. Can you say amen? Okay, let's read together the verse from the book of Habakkuk chapter 2. For the earth will be filled. Let's read together. One, two, three. With the knowledge of the glory of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. Let the earth be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. Hallelujah, God is moving with his glory and the knowledge of his glory is being revealed. Who is the glory of God? The Bible tells us in the book of John chapter 114, Jesus reveals the glory of God. Jesus is the one who carries the character of God, glory, glory. In the Old Testament, there are words for glory as kabot means magnificent, glorious, powerful, all-knowing God. Everything with the big power of God is called glory. In the New Testament, it's called doxa in the Greek word. Also with almost the same meaning of Someone with a high reputation, someone who holds the power, who receives honor, someone who receives receive all, the, all the power, someone who receives all the glory. His name is Jesus. Magnificence, all powerful. This is the glory of God. And the Bible tells us this is the prophecy given by Habakkuk the prophets. For the earth will be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. It means as the waters cover the sea, the glory of God will cover the whole earth. When it will happen? This is a big question. Why it will happen? Because God himself will showing his power at the ends of the days. We are living in the end times. It means God's in his heart. He wants to see that Jesus will be glorified. The name of Jesus will be, will be honored, will be praised all over the world. The power of Jesus through the power of the Holy Spirit will be revealed to every beloved, to God. Every people in the, on the planet earth and also the church. The church will carry the glory of God. The church will have the glory of God. If you look at the book of Isaiah 40, verse number 5, let's open our Bible. Isaiah 40, verse number 5. Are you ready to read together? One. Okay, you have your Bible, right? You have your iPhone, Samsung, whatever. Okay, let's read together. One, two, three. The glory of the Lord. Okay, loudly together, one, two, three. The glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all flesh shall see it together. For the mouth of the Lord hath spoken. Hallelujah. Can we all say amen? The glory of the Lord shall be revealed. This is once again Isaiah also prophesying for the coming of the glory of the Lord Jesus, the fulfillment of God. In Jesus, the glory. In the book of Old Testament, Moses asking God, show me your glory. And God showing him, my goodness 
His goodness is still the same because Jesus is still the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Can all you say amen? amen? My goodness, the name of the Lord, Jesus. My gracious, says the Lord God. I will be gracious to those who receive my gracious. I will have compassion to those who can receive my compassion. That's the glory of God. In the ministry of Jesus, Jesus demonstrating the glory of God through his goodness. In his goodness, we, we can experience a lot of things in him. When we are far from Jesus, when we are weak, when we are lost, he loves us. Even before we were born, he loves us even we are still in the womb of our mothers. Jesus already loved us when we are still a sinner. This is a powerful message that we need to receive. That Jesus until today, until now, still loves the whole world. Can all we say amen? When God said, for God so loved the world, the word means three things. Number one. The words, the original words of the word, the word is cosmos. Can you say with me, cosmos? Cosmos number one means region, places. You will receive my power and you will go to the ends of the earth. It means region, continents, cities, places, hills, mountains, villages, places. Cosmos, talking about places. Today people go from the east to the west, from the north to the south, south to the west, and everybody goes traveling around the globe. Cosmos. For God so loved the world. Not talking about this. Number two, cosmos means the things of the world, the material, everything you see, the growth of the world, people planting, people build, people wow, make a big construction, the things, people Take, take all the wealth from the, the soil. So the things of the world, the Bible tells us, do not love the things of the world. If you love the world more than God, the love of God is not there, For John says. It means everything in the world will be, one day will be destroyed by the fire. Do we need still to love the world more than God? This is cosmos, the things Material, money, everything that you see in the world. Many people fall in love with the world. They keep all the treasures. They keep everything in the world. They, they thought that they will be happy with all these things. But one day, everything will be destroyed. But what God means, for God so loved the world, cosmos, means the people who live in the world. That he gave his only begotten son. So whom, the whom, the word says whom or whose, talking about people. For God so loved the cosmos, the world, the people of the world. Different nations, different nationalities, different tribes. God loves everyone. God knows everyone. Because of that, the glory of God, the glory of Jesus... Revealed through him with his love. He cares. He has a heart for people. He wants to save people. He wants to heal people. He wants to restore people. He wants to, to lift up the people. So they can live happily, healthy and holy before the Lord. God is revealing. The glory of the Lord shall be revealed. And the flesh shall see it together. This is what the Lord God has already spoken. And today, if we experience the glory of God, not only we like to listen the word as a knowledge, not only we want to sing along the songs that we can understand, but somehow God wants us to go to a deeper relationship with him, to experience, to know his glory. And whenever the glory of God revealed in the Bible, it tells us when the people of Israel, almost three million people were in the desert land, they, every day they can see the glory of God. Day and night, the glory is there because God is there with all of them. Do you want to experience God's glory in your daily walk with God? Can you say amen? In your room, in your workplace, 
and you worship especially. Oh yeah, we need to see the glory of God. One day, when the people enter the land, the promised land of Canaan, when Solomon preparing a worship to God, when the, they really give a sacrifice, a burnt sacrifice, and then the glory of God fell down. It's like a cloud of glory. They remember in the, in the old days when they walked in the desert land, but today they see clearly the glory of God, the Shekinah glory fell down in the midst of the worship of his people. No one can stand up, not because of the lighting, not because of the smoke, not because of the creation of the man, but it is the glory of God himself. So today, let us know and understand the glory of God is tangible. We can feel it with the flesh. We can sense it. When the atmosphere of his presence bringing his glory, I believe things can happen. At that time, I believe all the people repented. They all fell down, slain in the power of God's glory. And no one stand up because why? The glory of God is so powerful, is so thick. that They can experience and they will they go out from that place, from the temple. They can bring the atmosphere of God's presence. Every Sunday you come to worship God at church. Do you bring his glory back home to your family? Do you bring the power of God back to your workplace? We have to carry the glory of God. That's why worship is so important. This morning I would like to share with you about worship. We all created for worship. We all created for worship. And as we understand this, the purpose of God to create all of us is also to worship Him. Why we have to worship Him? Because He is almighty. He is the God of glory. Full of power, full of honor, full of... He is all-knowing God, powerful, magnificent, yeah? and glorious he wants us to come to worship him. And when he's showing, reveal himself to the people of, of Israel, I am who I am. That's my name. The one true God. God is one. Allah itu Esa. No other God. Worship me. Worship him alone. That's what Moses said. We are created to worship one scripture. The book in the Bible, it tells us about, about this is 1 John chapter 5, 19. We know that we are the children of God. Can you imagine if you, you give birth to your son or daughters and your son and daughters not look like you or, your, or the parents, the father? You will feel strange. Your children, your child will be look like you. Maybe only nose or ears or eyes, it doesn't matter. But you can see, ah, this is the son, the daughter of him or her. God wants us to be look like him. Can you say amen? amen. We are created with his image. We are created into the likeness of God, His character. If God is loving kindness, if, when God is a patient God, when God is full with holiness, can you imagine all the creation cannot be looked like God, but when He created man and woman, He said, I will create man and woman into my likeness. But so sad because of sin. Separated us from the glory of God. Because of sin separate everyone after Adam and Eve. Because rebellious. Because of sin the glory of God departed from man. But thanks God to Jesus Christ. He came again. To restore, to reconcile, 
for everyone who receive him, everyone who bring their life and repent from their sins and iniquities, they receive grace, mercy, and be positioned again to be the likeness of Jesus. Can we all say amen? So worship, so important. What the worship means, I believe you all understand. We go to church, we come to church, we worship God. And every Sunday or every day, you, have make, you make time to worship with personal in your personal devotion. And it means there is something important in worship. Because in worship, we understand we will be like whom we worship. That's why 2 Corinthians chapter 3, 18, it says clearly, But we all, with unfailed face, beholding as a mirror to the glory of the Lord, are being transformed into the same image from glory to glory. Can you say with me, glory to glory? Just as by the Spirit of the Lord. We all, with unfailed face, in the morning, I believe, Every one of us will go to the mirror. If you don't feel good enough in the mirror in the morning because you are in rush to come to church, you will see from, from the mirror of your car. Yeah? Every woman, I believe, in their wallet, they have a mirror, maybe. Yeah? Because why? If you come to the mirror, you will not come with fail, with mask, no. You will come unfailed face. When you come to see the mirror, did you see something good in yourself? Or you hate yourself? Some of the people, they hate themselves. The young people, they said, I hate myself. Because when they see the mirror, they see a bad character, they see a bad things. They see the depression, they, they see the stress of, of their, their life. But those who come to Christ, those who receive the glory of God, those who receive the, the blessing, those who receive the forgiveness of God, they come to the mirror and they say, thank you, Lord. I'm so blessed today. I'm so blessed this Sunday because I will come to church. I will make a joyful noise unto the Lord. I will sing, clap hands, rejoicing, dancing, shouting, singing, and worshiping and praying. I thank God because of your goodness in my life. I thank you, Lord, because of your mercy again. I thank you, Lord, because of your compassion. I need healing. I need restoration. I need miracles. I need breakthrough in my life. I thank God because we can see in the mirror the love of Christ in us. Can all be say amen? Now let's check and test yourself. If you go to the mirror and you don't like God's creation in you, something must be wrong. But I believe in Jesus Christ, we are precious in the sight of God. Hallelujah. Many young people today, why many kids, they commit suicide? Why many kids, they like to, to hurt themselves? In our experience in the ministry, we see a lot of young people, they don't really have a, a, a cheerful Face. They come, even come to church because they said the parents forced them to come to church. They don't feel the joy of God. Why? Because of the influence, from the outside influence. Because they, are, they got bullying from, from their friends. They are so sad. They are not happy with everything. So they come to church with, with really a pale face. It's like a papaya face. Yeah. They are not happy at all. But not only kids, not only teens... Many adults also have the same problem. They go to church, they cannot worship God. Why? Because they just concentrate, they just feel about themselves. They just, everything goes on their own. Self-centered. But I believe the glory of God, the presence of God, when we refill by Jesus with the power through the worship session, through when, when we, we come to listen to the words, they will, the words and the presence of God, the worship can change their heart. Once they are touched by the power of the Holy Spirit, I believe mine will be changed. And then they will see the mirror 
Oh, I see Jesus in me. Do you see Jesus in you? When you get angry, when you have bitterness, when you have something unsatisfied, you are dis disappointed with something, can you see Jesus? I don't think so. Many times I have, I heard many things, I, I, I experienced many things, but I always check myself. Sometimes we will make a comments, but sometimes we have to stop a while. Did I represent Jesus? So worship talking about, we will be changed from one glory to another degree of glory. To one glory while we live on earth. Glory is the third dimension of the supernatural. The first dimension of the supernatural is faith. Can you say with me, faith? Because faith is the legal access to supernatural. When you receive the word, when you have faith, by faith you will see the things that impossible can be possible. This is the faith. The second dimension of the supernatural is anointing. We live on earth and we need the power of God. This is the anointing. The anointing in the marketplace, the anointing at home, the anointing as a wife, the anointing as a husband, the anointing in the ministry. Oh, this is 100% important. Because without the anointing, the service of the church is just the gathering of the people. Because if there's no anointing, the gathering of the cell group is just the meeting, normal meeting. But we need the power of Holy Spirit. This is what we call anointing. And you say, Amen. But the third dimension of the supernatural is glory. Glory is God himself. We need God while we live on earth. We need the glory of God when we are worshiping God together. But also glory is there, eternal. In heaven there is no faith anymore. We don't need anointing anymore. But the glory of God will be there. So that's why when we receive Jesus at the first time, when we become Christian, born again, go for water baptism and go to church week after week, if we don't change from one degree of glory to another degree, something must be wrong. Maybe we don't respond rightly. Maybe we don't really open our hearts to be restored, to be shaped by, by Jesus and the words. But when we are open to the work of the Holy Spirit, we will be transformed. This is talking about transformation. From one degree of glory to another glory. The glory of Jesus. When we receive Jesus, when we become Christian, we start to say that, okay, after this, Lord, I am more than you. But after we receive Jesus, more and more of him. And less and less and less of us. Can we all say amen? amen. Let's pray together. Lift up your hands together. Father, in Jesus' name, repeat after me, please. Let me less of me and more of you. Less of me and more of you. Less of my will and more of your will. Less of my own glory, more of your glory. In Jesus' name, amen. We all with unfailed face beholding as in a mirror to the glory of the Lord are being transformed into the same image from glory to glory. The same image. Whose image? The image of God. The image of Christ. And Christ, when Christ in us, when the spirit of life of Christ in us, this is the resurrection power of Jesus. We sing that song again and again from yesterday. The resurrection power of Jesus Make us to receive the spirit of life of Jesus. But that's not enough. We need to receive the spirit, the Holy Spirit power of Jesus. Can you say amen? amen. That's why in the book of John 20, 22, Jesus said to his disciples, receive the Holy Spirit. <sighs> the spirit of life. And Jesus said, and you need to wait. Tunggu. In the upper room. Tunggu di kamar loteng. Until you receive power. This is talking the power of the Holy Spirit. As Christian, when you receive Jesus, you become a born again Christian. 
you receive the life of Christ. That's where everywhere you go, you have Christ in you. Because of the Holy Spirit, put Christ in you. But still not enough. We need, as a worshiper, we need to be filled with the presence of God, the Holy Spirit, who give us power, who give us the strength of God in us. That's why the disciples are waiting, tarry in Jerusalem for 10 days. Day and night, it's like a prayer tower. Day and night, they are waiting, praying. They are speaking uh, the words of God. They are singing. Maybe the psalm, the hymns, whatever written in the book of psalm. Until the 10 days, they receive the fire and tongue of fire. And after that, God spoke to them. And then they start to speak in other tongues. The people, some of the people cannot understand, but the people down there, they can understand. Wow, they are glorifying God. They are magnifying, magnifying the name of the Lord. They are talking about the goodness of God. They are from the, 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 the kampong, the village of Galilee, of little town of some places there. But why? They can speak to our language, people from from Libya, people from Arab, people, the Jewish people who came back for the Feast of Pentecost, they said that, wow, they speak in our language, in our area, in Europe, in Africa, in Libya, in Arab, and some of the, the places. Why? They are the people in the village, they don't, because they glorifying God. They magnify, they're telling the goodness, telling the, the, the love of God to all of us. This is the Holy Spirit. Can you all say amen? amen? And I believe the church, we need to rise up again because we can feel the glory of God. We can bring the supernatural down here when we enter through worship. So once again, worship is talking about transformation. We are transformed into the glory of God. So if we are talking about worship, what worship is all about is not singing a song. It's not playing the instrument. It's not praying. It's not what we do for God. That's all worship in the common, common meaning. But the important understanding of worship is we want to be look like Jesus. Transform into the likeness of Jesus. Give glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. <laughs> Josh, can you go up to the stage? We are created for worship. We will be like whom we worship. And as we know that Jesus is the glory of God, as written in John chapter 1, verse 14, full of grace and truth. When you want to be like Jesus, sometimes we say, Lord, I want to be like you. Okay. Why you learn the Bible? Why you read and make devotion? Why you come into prayer time? Because you want to be like Jesus. The vision of our church in general, from Indonesia, we start to plant churches everywhere. One of the vision is we want the church, the people to be like Jesus, mature spiritually. Can always say amen. Jesus is full of grace and truth. In worship, you are asking, so what is the, the worship all about? There must be Jesus in the center of our worship. Jesus be the center of our church. Jesus must be the center of our life. Bisa nyanyikan ini, can we sing this song together? Jesus be the center of it all. Jesus be the center of it all. From beginning to the end, 
It will always be, it's always been you, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus be the center of it all. Jesus be the center of it all from beginning to the end. Lift up your voice. It always been you, Jesus. 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 Jesus be the center of your church. Jesus be the center of my church. Lift up your hands together. Jesus be the center of my church. And every knee will bow And every tongue Confess you, Jesus Jesus Jesus, Jesus Jesus, nothing else Nothing else matters Nothing in this world will do You're the center Everything revolves around you Jesus, you The center of it all oh, 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 oh. The center of it all Let's stand up together Sing once again Jesus, be the center of my life Jesus, be the center of my life Jesus be the center of my life From beginning to the end It will always be It's always been you, Jesus Jesus, sing it again Jesus is the center Jesus is the center of my life Jesus be the center of my life From beginning to the end It will always be It's always be you, Jesus Jesus, 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 Jesus Jesus, 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 worship Him, hallelujah, Jesus, oh, we honor you, Jesus, we want to be like you, Jesus, Jesus, restore us, oh Lord, oh, cleanse us, oh Lord. Jesus, let your church here become a worshiping church, Lord. So you will transform us from one glory to another glory until we see the King of Glory. Everything matters Everything revolves will do Oh Jesus, Jesus you're the center Everything revolves around you Jesus you the center of it Center of it all, the center of it all. Oh, we thank you, Jesus. Can you give thanks to Jesus for what He has done in the past of your life? Can you give thanks to Jesus for now? 
He is so good to you. He is so good to me. Can you give thanks for the future? He will lead you. He will guide you. He will bless your family. He will bless your youth. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. we give thanks. We give thanks to you. Oh, yeah, 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 Give thanks with a grateful heart. Give thanks to the Holy One. Holy One. Give thanks because He's given Jesus Christ His Son. Give thanks hallelujah with a grateful heart give thanks to the holy one hallelujah give thanks because he's given jesus christ his son give thanks because he's given jesus christ his son his son and now let the weak say i am strong and give thanks to God for he is great he is good he is faithful he is loving and kind full of mercy and grace full of love let's rejoice in him we can dance in Jesus Stop your hands. Let the weak say, I am strong. Let the poor say, Let the poor say, I am rich. Because of what the because Lord of what the Lord has done for us. And now, hallelujah, let the weak say, Just put your hand on someone close to you, your friends, and give thanks to God for brothers and sisters. Give thanks to God for this church. We thank you, Lord, for this morning. We thank you for friends. We thank you for church. We thank you for beloved wife and husband, friends, relations. 
all of us, really to us in Jesus' name. We thank you, Lord. Touch us, oh Lord. Heal us. We give thanks for this family. understand that there is an expressions of worship we love someone when we love someone you express something when you honor someone you will respect someone if for example in many special occasion if one of the president or the king come entering one of the big room prepare for the king Everybody will stand up, yeah? If you see something marvelous, something wonderful, you will have a standing ovation to honor someone. In worship, there must be an expression. Number one is the expressions of thankful heart. Psalm chapter 9, verse number 2, it says, I will be glad and rejoice in you. I will sing praise to your name, O Most High. Giving thanks is an expression of we appreciate for something to someone. With God, if you experience, you receive the love, you receive the grace, you receive the forgiveness, you receive the goodness of God, you receive miracles, you receive blessing. Why we need to stop and silent? We need to express our thankful heart. That's why in our worship, the expressions of worship is giving thanks to God. Usually you will lift up your hands and say, thank you, Lord. You sing praises with your thankful heart. If the kids can give a thankful heart to the parents who brought them, who lift them up, who bless them while they are kids until they grow up, I, I believe one occasion when they get married, they will say something to the parents. I thank you. It's deep from my heart, dad and mom. Gitu, papa, mama. Aku nggak bisa ngomong apa apa. Aku terima kasih. I say thank you because you are so gracious. You protect us. You bring us. You bless us. Oh, no other words can be expressed than I can just say thank you, papa, mama. Something like that. With God, if you never say thank you to God, you keep silent. Everything you receive, every day you receive the sun, the moon, the stars, the rain, the, the, the heat of the sun, the blessing that you receive every day, the breath that you breathe every day. You never give thanks to God. Something wrong. We need to give thanks to God. Can you say amen? amen. With people also the same. Thanksgiving Day is a, it's a great Celebration in, in America, we don't have in Indonesia. Yeah, but maybe in Indonesia because weekly basis, monthly, during birthday, we give thanks to the parents. Yeah, but the heart 
the thankful heart is important. We appreciate something. I remember, why why I give all this picture to you? This is in Panmunjom, in the border of North and South Korea. Three years ago, yeah, before the reunification, now we see the growth of the relationship from the North and the South. But three years ago, there are approximately uh, several hundred people from the North and the South who are separated during the Korean War. 50 years, they are siblings, maybe. Some of them, they are in the, in the, the other border and the other border before they make a borderline because of the war. They are together as a family, but suddenly they are separated by the border, the north and the south. For more than 50 years, they know one another, but they don't, they don't see what happened with them in the north and the south. And the government created something like a, like a reunion with certain hours only, they are chosen by people so thankful to God. Yeah, they, uh, they give gratitude to government who choose them to, 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 to make an occasion for them to have a reunion. When they met, the first things that happen is crying. They hug one another and full of tears and cry. They cannot tell the story of what the bad experience in the north and also the joy in the south because the south they experienced 40, 50 years ago the revival God's grace and mercy upon the South Korea you remember about the South Korea how God blessed South Korea because the church arising in the south to be a blessing for the nations even though now many youngsters they left the church they don't really give gratitude to what God has done in their, in their ancestors when they met together and then they eat together, they start to tell everything with tears. Why? Because when they met, they appreciate everything. When they will go and uh, depart from this Pamunjom, because time is, is up, that they have to go back. Again, they just cry and cry and hug one another. They don't know whether they will meet again or not. Full of tears. Some of us, Many of the Christians today, if they receive, they experience God's goodness. They, when they enter into the presence of God, tears will fall down. They will not stand and be, be, be like a stiff and, and don't feel anything with God. When they sing songs of worship, they sing songs of thanks, thank, thanksgiving song. some of us will cry again. Tears will come. Not. Because something hurting us, but because of the joy flowing from our hearts. Can you all say amen? In many wonderful occasions, many of you will cry. You see the graduation of your children. You see the marriage of your children. You see the good things of things happen in, in you. If you are graduate from, you have the inauguration of, of your graduation. Some of you will you have tears. Why? The heart talks. The tears is the expressions of thanksgiving. If people never give thanksgiving, many people feel God unfair. Why many, many top people, many celebrities uh, 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 finally committed suicide? Because there is no thankful heart. Lately, also, we heard about one of the pastors in California committed suicide. I don't think he has a thankful heart. When they saw, he saw the mirror, he saw bad things. He saw bad influence. He saw a memory of the past. Actually, Jesus loves him. Hallelujah. The expressions of worship, number one, is thankful heart. Do you still want to give thanks to God every day? Amen. Can you give every day thanksgiving to God when you wake up? Oh, thank you, Jesus. When you meet friends, that's why I would like to, to, for you to, to, to say thank you to brothers, to sisters, and the brotherly love. Husband and wife, can you appreciate one another? It is important to appreciate what the pastor did, to appreciate what the elders of the church did, to appreciate the cool cell leaders did for you, to appreciate small, small things. 
you give appreciation. God, He is so happy when we all giving thanks to Him. Give thanks in all every situation. Can you say Amen? That's what Paul said. Give thanks, giving thanks in every situation. If you are in certain situation, don't harden your heart. Give thanks to God because there is a miracle in thanksgiving. Can you say amen? Jesus, when he did miracles, many times he wants to see Lazarus, the dead, four days already to wake up, to rise up from the dead. He gave thanks to God and he commanded the life to Lazarus. When he had only five loaves of bread and also two wishes from the little kids, Andrew, Andrew brought not this little case to him. He just see, oh, it's not enough for all the men, 5,000, and all the women, and all the kids, and all the, the people, the crowd over there. It's not enough. But Jesus believed when he gave thanks to God, he gave thanks to the Father, miracles happened. Can you say amen? Miracles of healing, miracles of life, miracles of multiplication will happen if you know the secret of giving thanks to God. Let's give thanks to God. Hallelujah. Let's give thanks to God. Can you shout hallelujah? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Can you say amen? It's not only the worship leaders, not only the song leaders uh, lift up the voice, but every people in the church should give thanks to God. Once again, hallelujah. Number two, I believe there is an expression of joy. Worship. With the expressions of thanksgiving, number one. Worship with the expressions of praise, number two. Expressions of joy. Why? We have to praise God. Because what He has done in our life. We praise Him because of what He did through us and us. What He has done in the cross. There's a divine exchange the curse become blessing. The sickness become healing. The poverty become the people who receive blessing from God. And we know what Jesus did is enough and absolutely 100% done by the love of God. Can we all say amen? It is finished. No more things that we can do. We don't need to bring offering of animal. We don't need to, to bring things that, that really we cannot do because the power of God in us, Christ in us will help us through the power of the Holy Spirit. So why we give thanks? Why we praise God? Number one, the people of Israel, they praise God because of their salvation and redemption. If you look at Psalm 105, verse number 43, this is the story of the Israel when God redeemed them and they are free from the bondage of the Egyptian. Number one, when they start to go to the desert land, they said he brought out his people with rejoicing, his chosen ones with shouts of joy because of the salvation. You and I are the Christian born again the church today, we are the, the spirit-filled believers. We need to praise God. Because why? Because thank you, God, for the salvation granted to every one of us. Can we all give glory to God? Once again. Every time you celebrate Holy Communion, you have to remember the goodness of God. Every day you say, Lord, thank you, Lord. I will praise you. From early morning to the late, from the sunrise to the sunset. Oh, ye people of the Lord, servants of the Lord, praise God. Seven times a day, David said, not five times. Prayer, five times, prayer, seven times a day. But another group of religion, they copy, they make five times. Actually, seven times, it means the complete number, the fullness of God. So, because of the salvation, we praise God. So many praise songs talking about the goodness of God. God is good. God is powerful. God is wonderful. Talking about the, the sacrifice of Jesus. Number two, I believe we give praise to God because uh, the Lord your God is in your midst. The mighty one will save. 
Savior. Yeah? He has saved us. He will rejoice over you with gladness. He will quiet you with his love. He will rejoice over you with singing. So we have God, the God who sing for his church. Some of you, maybe you sing, sing the songs of the Lord to the, the church. But you need to, to open your ears. So you will sing with harmony. Can you say with me harmony? I'll leave it once again. Can you say with me harmony? harmony? You will sing not out of tune. You will sing together in the harmony of God's people. I believe in the time of David, David taught his people to praise God with jumping, with shouting, with clap hands, with singing, wow, with hymns and psalm and psalmist. David becomes the best psalmist in the place of Israel. He will rejoice with you with gladness. He will, he will rejoice over you with singing. So singing, everyone loves singing. Everyone loves music so much. This is the expressions of praise to God because of the salvation. Hallelujah. Number two, because of his blessings. The people go out from the, 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 the Egypt land. 105 of Psalms, 37 verse 8. Can we read together? One, two, three. Okay, let's read together. One, two, three. It means in one night they become very rich. Do you believe about divine blessing of God in your hands? Can you say amen? In Egypt they have to work hard. They don't receive silver or gold. But one day when God saved them, God blessed them at that night. All the Egyptians become merciful. They give all the silvers and gold, jewelry, and beautiful cotton, a beautiful color uh, dress, everything. They, they, take, they, they tell the people, of Israel, go out, go out, go out. This is all the things. As a wages after you work so hard, one night they become very rich. Do you believe God's blessing in your life, in your marriage, in your work? Can you say amen? In your hands, God will bless you. Because of that, we praise God. Hallelujah. Number three, not only with the blessing, material blessing, but because of the healing. God wants us to experience healing power. Psalm 105 talks about the, the Israelites. They went out from the Egypt. And there was none feeble among his tribes. The 12 tribes. No one feeble. No one lame. Everyone got their healing. The bones become very strong because they will walk 40 years in the desert land. This way God, the Jehovah Rapha, heals them one by one. Old, young, little, big, man, woman, all the Israelites and all the friends who also went out from the Egypt, from the bondage land, they all got their healings. This is a divine healing. Can you say with me divine healing? Do you, feel, do you believe he, divine healing still happen now? Can you say amen? amen? Miracles still happen everywhere. I saw with my eyes. Yeah, two months ago, we all went, went to, to uh, uh, Kalimantan, some part of the, uh, the place, Barito, we call it there. And we see in the big crowd, thousands of people gather in the open field. At that night, we Together with us, Singapore and Jakarta, we are 37 people. We serve, we minister for healing, and many people got their healings. I saw amazingly God touched one by one. When they open their hearts, they believe Jesus loves them. They believe for their healings. They experience healing. Can we say hallelujah to Jesus? Because he heals. Number one, the expression of worship is thankful, thankful heart. Number two, expressions of joy, praise. Number, number three, expressions of humility and respect. David said, Psalm 95, 6, Come, let us bow down in worship. Yesterday, this place Packed with people, worshiping God, kneeling down, bow down in worship. Let us kneel before the Lord, our maker, 
who we are, who am I, that we stand with arrogance to God, the maker. Some people, I know a man who said to his wife, even for 10 generations, this wealth will never finish. I still can fit my 10 generation, even they don't need to work. How many people of them, I still have this wealth with arrogance, with his pride. Only one generation suffer. He died and suffer already. See? Who can stand before God with his pride? God who owns, God who create the mountains, God who create all the firmament, God who create everything. We need to kneel down. We need to come and bow down. That's why in worship, the expressions of worship is also humility spirit. Sometimes we come and prostrate in the floor. You come and in prayer and worship, you come with the spirit of humility. Because God is the one who will bless us, who will bring us. God loves those who are humble. But God hates those who are proud. Hallelujah. Psalm 5, number 7. But I, by your great love, can come into your house in reference. I bow down toward your holy temple. In the Catholic Church, there must be as a long desk yeah, that we, we can kneel down. But here we have a free seating, but some of us will lift up your hands and give praise. Praising God. And some people will kneel down and bow down. It's a free for you to express your worship. Can we say amen? amen? Hallelujah. God wants us. And the fourth one, the expression of worship, I believe with musical the expression the musical expressions why we have all the music here why we have the drum set the cymbals the guitar the harps the lyre maybe shofar tambourine I don't see here but in other church they have Many kinds of instruments. Why? Because God told David to restore the way to worship God with all the musical expressions. You go for birthday party, there is music. Even to go to the funeral, there must be a music. A big occasion, inauguration, dedication, inaugural, you will see music. I like to watch the American way of inauguration of the president. Many different occasions I saw how the beautiful choir singing, music, and all, all the things are so, so, so musical in this land, America. Okay, the Satan also stealing the heavenly music to worship Satan. That's why they make an attribute, satanic attribute, that the young people, the many people start to worship Satan. If you go to bookstore, I, yesterday I, go to, I went to the bookstore and see the rock, history of the rocks in America. I take some picture because I know, wow, lately, more to the satanic worship. They use all the smoke, they use everything to worship Satan, to make people confused, to make people crazy with all the, the symbol of satanic, maybe in Atos and, and, the, and, the, and the design of, of someone who, who worship, dedicate all the music to Satan. Yeah? Even with the blood. So, if this is a spirit of Satan, Everywhere you go to, to, to Thailand, 
to China, to Indonesia, you will see, they said, they said this is a sacred, but it's not sacred. Yeah? This is the place of worshipping Satan. You can feel strange. You can feel something not, not really peaceful. Because many people are worshipping idols. Many people are worshipping statues. They build statues with their, hands, with their hands, but they worship the statue. God is holy. Can you say amen? God is spirit. Can you say amen? We need to worship him in spirit and truth. Once the Holy Spirit comes and tells us we have the life of Jesus. We have the spirit of life of Jesus. We worship in truth. Worship with your heart. That's what God wants. Jesus said, this is the time that the true worshipers will worship him in spirit and truth. The spirit of God has always make us freedom. The spirit of God has always make us to free from the, the bondage of sin. The spirit of God has always uh, free us from the condemnation from the past or from the devil. The spirit of God has always come and give us peace. The spirit of God has always bring us to the truth. The spirit of God has always bring us, give us the love of God in us. So God wants us to worship him in spirit and truth. Let us stand up together. Musical expression, Psalm 150. All the musicians come up to the stage, please. Let's read what God wants us to do. Can we read together? The women read first, number one. One, two, and three. Wow, hallelujah. Number two, all the men says this first. One, two, three. Praise him for his acts of power. Praise him for his surpassing greatness. You can praise God because of the healing. Can you say amen? Healing still happen today. Can you say amen? Blessing from heaven can be, can be in your hands. Can you say amen? Material blessing, of future good, bright future for your life, marriage blessing. We have to praise Him for the acts of His power. Number three, praise Him with the sounding of the trumpet. Praise Him with the harp and lyre. Number four, together. Praise Him with the tremble and dancing. Praise Him with the strings and pipes. Strings and pipes are there again. The harp may be also here. The modern harp is the guitar now. Yeah. Number five, number five. Let's read together. One, two, three. Praise Him with a class of symbols. Dio. Oh. Oh. Praise Him with the resounding symbols. That one. From the ting, ting, ting to tang, tang, tang. Okay. Tapi kok keras sekarang kok enggak keras ya? Once again, number five. Read together. One, two, three. Praise Him with a class of symbols. Praise Him with the resounding symbols. Huh. This is all the musical instruments. God wants worship him with all the musical instruments also. If you don't have music at home, you can have CDs. That's why we recorded songs and music and CDs so you can listen the full music instruments in the CD strings, harps, leader, yeah, and also the bass, the zumbasa, the 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 everything is in the in the in the in the form of CD. Yeah, you can listen the full music to worship God. So number one, the expression of worship is the number one expression of worship is thankful heart. Can you say with me thankful heart? Number two, expressions of joy, praise. Number three, humility and respect. Number four, Musical instruments. Let's give a big hand to Jesus. Hey, not finished yet. 
Number six. Number five, okay? Number six. First number six of Psalm 150, not only all the musicians with all the instruments, but God wants every one of us. Let's read together. One, two, three. Let everything that has bread praise the Lord. Shout hallelujah. 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 I believe the church of Jesus Christ is the church who understand what is praise and worship can all you say amen so you don't feel strange to come to our church here because we are the worshiping church number six let's read together if you still have breath oh it is for us to praise the lord let everything one two three and then all the music all the we give a big clap offering to God and shout hallelujah three times. One, two, three. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Oh my soul. Worship His holy name. Sing like never before Oh my soul I worship your holy name Lift up your hands Bless the Lord Oh my soul Oh my soul Worship His holy name Sing like never The sun comes up, it's a new day dawning. It's time to sing your song again. Whatever may pass and whatever lies before me, let me be singing when the evening comes. Dengan tepuk tangan saudara Oh my soul Worship his soul Stop music. Okay, open the third verses first, and so we can sing this song. This is very important. We are waiting for the second coming of Jesus Christ. Can you all say Amen? amen. They, they will come. For you and I will be there when the glory, the King of Glory, comes. We, the people, the glorious church, will see Him face to face. Can we all say Amen? Hallelujah. And on that day when my strength is bare, the end draws near and my time has come. Still my soul will sing your praise unending. Then I'll send you, send that forever. 
raising up a worshiper around the globe so the glory of God will be like the waters cover the sea because God is refilling his glory through his church and bring the glory out from this place and many people will be saved many people will get a blessing many people will get their healings and God will coming back soon Jesus will coming back soon. Those who need the, the anointing of the worshippers, lift up both of your hands wherever you stand. Hallelujah. Oh, Ramahataka. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you for this wonderful morning. We understand that you want us to be a true worshipper. Now, Lord, release your power. Release the fresh new anointing to worship. And be blessed all the people this morning. Oh, we lift up our hands together. We give thanks to you, Lord, for your goodness to the city of San Francisco, to the Delhi city, this area. We know the atmosphere of heaven will come down here at this area while we worship you day and night. Koramahata Karama. We speak healing. We speak repentance to the north, south, east and west of SFO. In the name of Jesus, many will come to you again. Many will come to you, Jesus, as we worship and lift up your name on high. We give thanks that the harvest is also here. We don't see the situation, but we believe that God, you will work through us, through our prayer and worship. You raise up a church, worshiping church, Lift up your name and you will draw people to you. In Jesus' name, we thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen.